These Google VO3 videos are absolutely insane. From creative ads to impossible visuals, they're a great way to grab attention and go viral on socials. But just how do you actually prompt video models like VO3 to repeatedly generate viral videos just like these? Well, I've been trawling through hundreds of the most viral AI videos, and today I'm gonna to be sharing the exact prompts used to create them so that you can steal them for yourself. I've also added a link down in the description to all of the prompts, as well as a customizable prompt template so that you can try them out for yourself. With that being said, hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into the first AI viral video prompt on today's list. These AI first person pixel art gaming videos are getting absolutely crazy viral at the moment, but how do we create them? So before we actually dive into the prompt, I just wanna cover the format of the prompt that I'm gonna use across all the videos on today's list. We're gonna be using a format called JSON, which if you're not familiar with JSON, it stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's something that's used to communicate between things like APIs and the image models, and it's a form of JavaScript, which basically breaks down the prompt into different components. So as you'll see on all of the prompts on today's list, we use things like description, style, camera, lighting, environment, elements, and then a breakdown of the scenes. So as an example, I'm gonna use the platform Clipyard, which comes with a number of different models for creating these types of AI videos, as well as using AI avatars for things like marketing. And I'm gonna input this prompt for our pixel art first person gaming video, which says description, and then says a short pixel animation presenting a first person perspective of a character at the entrance of a dark forest path. Now you can customize this as you want. And as you can see, the prompt is much longer, but it goes into detail on things like style, calling it pixel art and retro gaming, the camera, including first person's perspective, and the lighting, such as low lighting conditions, and then things like the environment to map this out in as much detail as possible. And the cool thing about this is you can actually take this format, plug it into ChatGPT, and then get it to create your own prompt for you. And you can tweak this as you like. Another cool thing with Clipyard while I've got the platform up is that you can actually upload any video you like and get it to describe that with AI. So if there is a particular pixel art type video that you really like, you could upload that into Clipyard, get it described, and then use that as your starting point. Now that being said, let's plug this into Clipyard and see if we can do a 16 by nine video using a similar style of prompt. And as you can see, this looks pretty amazing. It's also put in some sound to give the torch effects as the character goes down the path. And they're just absolutely crazy. So see what you can do with this and then let me know down below in the comments. We've got a few prompts on today's list that could absolutely revolutionize how marketing is done for adverts. And I really wanna dive into this one, which is an ad for the firm Ikea, which takes some of their boxes and then explodes a room filled with Ikea furniture to really wow people and grab people's attention, just like a real ad advert might do, but at a fraction of the cost. So for this one, we're gonna use the same style of JSON prompt. We're gonna set the aspect ratio as 69, and then we're gonna describe a large empty room and have the camera set up for a wide angled shot. We're then gonna have the key elements be a sealed IKEA box with a very visible logo. And then we're gonna have some assembled elements, which include a bed with a duvet, a yellow IKEA throw blanket, as well as a few other items that you might buy at IKEA. The video is then gonna focus on this box exploding, so giving an amazing reveal type feature, and then the entire room is gonna be laid out. And we're gonna combine that with some audio in VO3 to have a pop when the box opens, and then a small hush when the blanket lands on the bed. And this is pretty awesome, let's check it out. One really cool thing you can do with VO3, like a lot of AI video models, is actually upload an image as a first frame or potentially last frame to help prompt the AI model and get the video to turn that image into something hyper-realistic and animated to make it as engaging as possible. And as I'm in Clipyard, we can do that here. So I can take one of Clipyard's hyper-realistic AI avatars using their real or vibe AI image models, which creates hyper-realistic looking people. And then I can use that as part of my prompt in VO3. And I could use something like a description where it says, a day in the life of a particular person talking through what they're doing. The first scene is them at home getting ready for work. The second scene is them get, going into work. And then the final scene is them in work 
as a judge or a lawyer or whatever it is you want. And the results are absolutely insane because it's been prompted with that hyper-realistic image as its first frame. This is a vlog where you're gonna spend the whole day with me. <laughs> oh, my throat hurts. Oh. I'm on set shooting a global music video for a famous artist. I'm so tired today. Just sentenced another psycho. ASMR videos are huge on social, and you might have seen some of these fruit cutting videos going crazy viral on platforms like TikTok and Instagram, but how do we actually create them? Well, again, we can use our description to say something like a 4K ASMR video of a person slicing through a dragon fruit on a wooden cutting board. The dragon fruit's rendered with hyper-realistic detail, vibrant print skin with green scale-like tips, slightly waxy texture, and an oval shape. And then we're gonna set up things like the style and the camera to make this really focused in on the fruit. And then we're gonna talk about motion where it says the knife is smoothly pressing through the fruit, cutting into perfect even slices that separate and fan out slightly on the board. And then the real killer here is talking about the ASMR sounds and prompting VO3 to suggest clean slicing sounds for the knife through the soft fruit, subtle squelching sounds as the fruit separates, and then a slight thud of slices settling on the board. Again, let's check this out. Next up, we're going back to AI video ads. And I couldn't resist this one because A, I'm a massive Lego fan, and B, it fits so perfectly with this kind of exploding transition that's amazing in VO3. So for this particular ad, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a cinematic shot of a child's bedroom at night in the description, and then we're gonna have a sealed Lego box that's sitting on the floor to build anticipation. Then we're gonna prompt VO3 to make the Lego bricks suddenly explode out of the box and then assemble a particular Lego item in real time. For example, a glowing spaceship, or it could be a specific Lego set that you love. We're not gonna have any dialogue or particular sound in this, and we're just gonna have the camera stay fixed and the lighting be cool and kind of moonlit for ambience. Let's see what this looks like. A very cool advanced feature of AI video models is actually getting the video to loop by beginning and ending with exactly the same frame. And we can do this with this example of a tennis advert where we can prompt VO3 with a hyper-realistic macro tennis ball sitting against a black background. It then slowly starts to crack open like a shell to reveal a surreal spherical interior with a miniature clay court embedded within the flat lined shell. A female tennis player stands centered in the middle third. We're then gonna prompt this with lighting that offers sort of sports style lighting and we're gonna set the scene so that the interior of the spherical tennis ball has a warped clay court and a kind of sportscape with elements including things like the net and other things. Most importantly for the motion, we're gonna have the ball crack open, the camera then gliding and panning in as the player strikes the ball, and we're then gonna end with the loop resolving with the ball closing back over seamlessly so that it will start all over again. We're not gonna add any audio into this one, but let's see what it looks like. Next on the list, we've got community theater. And this is a super creative prompt that's been shared across social media and has gone crazy viral. So for this, the description is gonna be a small town community theater performance of, and then you could do something like a popular TV show, a film, or even a video game. I'm gonna use The Legend of Zelda here. The stage is decorated with hand-painted cardboard cutouts of Hyrule Field and castles with a simple paper trifle centerpiece. Actors are in charming homemade costumes playing Link, Zelda, and Ganon with over-the-top earnest energy. The whole production feels like a delightful local effort with visible stage hands and playful DIY effects. We're then gonna have the style set as comedic, theatrical, and kind of lo-fi DIY aesthetic. The camera then stays wide, and the room itself is set in a small community theater. We can then add in things like the specific elements, like Link in his green tunic, Zelda in a handmade pink and white gown, and we can add in things like stage props. 
on motion here is that the actors are behaving dramatically, acting out something like a battle scene with exaggerated swings and cardboard rupees being tossed by a stagehand as Link collects them. If we want to, we can also break this down into different scenes. So we can start a scene between zero and two seconds, two and three seconds, and three and five seconds to split this one up so it's not a single continuous take. And we can also add in audio here too. Let's check it out. The battle begins now! I must save the princess! I am evil! <laughs> vroom vroom! Take that, Luigi! Oh no, not again! I'm spinning out! Next up, we've got a simple but really effective practical ad example where we're taking a brand like Nike and their trainers and then transitioning from the logo into a new trainer like a product launch or reveal video. We're going to use in the description a cinematic shot of a dark, textured, backlit, illuminated by cool directorial lighting. The Nike swoosh hovers in the midair, glowing faintly. It begins to pulse with energy and then shatters into a thousand tiny particles. The particles then pull together in fluid motion to form a shoe descending gently onto the surface and flexing subtly. We can then add in further information such as the shoe landing and moving in a particular direction, the motion being swooshing and pulsing and exploding into particles in a bit more detail. And let's check this one out. I absolutely love these handheld selfie influencer style videos where they're taking historical characters or scenes and then putting an AI generated influencer there to kind of behave like they would now, but in a historical setting. So to create these types of videos, what we need to do is prompt the description to have a handheld selfie shot of a man in, and then we could say something like full ancient Greek armor on a dusty road, holding the camera at arm's length. Now you can change this up to be any historical period, or in fact, any period you like. And then you could prompt the AI video model to have things like an enormous wooden Trojan horse, behind him, you could then have him sort of smirking and then delivering a casual line to the audience. Now, as a quick aside here, for any AI video where you're prompting that's gonna have actually spoken audio, there are two things you can do. Either you can prompt a very short, specific script of what you want the AI avatar to say in the video. Just make sure it's not too long because if it is too long, it will overlap or be cut off. For example, in this scene, we could say the man is talking to the camera, describing what he sees in the style of a TikTok influencer. VA3 will then generate the script and make sure it fits perfectly into the timing of the scene. Just dropping off a totally normal gift. Definitely not suspicious. Anything to do with animals tends to go crazy viral on socials. And so when I saw this Chewy ad completely made with AI, I kind of blew my mind. In the description, we're using a cinematic shot of a dew covered backyard patio at sunrise. A Chewy box sits on the grass. It suddenly bursts open with a soft pop and pet supplies magically fly into position around a sunlit outdoor pet lounge. A dog then sprints out of the house and happily sprawls on his new bed. We're going to set the camera as a wide angle here, and we're going to set up all of our elements that pop out of our Chewy box. We're then going to specifically set the ending to have the dog jumping out of the house, grabbing a toy mid-run, and then flopping on the bed as the big payoff. And let's see how this looks. Now, did you know that AI video models aren't just about creating hyper-realistic videos? They can also do things like mock up 2D video games. Let's take a look at this amazing prompt. So for this, we're gonna have the composition be a side-scrolling 2D view with dynamic foreground and background layers with the style set to be pixel art, simulating arcade lens with a supple CRT filter and occasional screen shake effects. We're then gonna have two stylized pixel characters locked in intense combat, one wearing futuristic armor with a rifle and the other a nimble rogue in tattered gear dual wielding pistols. Now we can allow VO3 to assemble this for us and create this absolutely incredible 2D video game scene, which we could use to test something like an early video game prototype.
AI video models are actually amazingly good at recreating physical products. In an advert for Apple, we can say something like a cinematic wide angle shot of a modern dimly lit creative studio. As morning light spills in, an unopened Apple box on a sleek desk slowly opens and a MacBook Pro levitates and powers on, syncing with nearby AirPods and a glowing iPad. Music then starts to subtly swell as the screen animates with creative projects. This creates the effect of a very professional looking Apple advert and the end result is absolutely amazing. Tourism is a massive global industry, and maybe you just want to promote your town that you live in because you absolutely love it. Well, this video prompt is going to be for you. We can use the description, a cinematic shot of a sunlit white backdrop, a folded American flag lies still at the center, a gentle breeze stirs its edges. Slowly, the flag begins to unfold and ripple in elegant slow motion. As it rises, its fabric dissolves into radiant beams of red, white and blue light. The streams spiral outward, expanding across the scene to form a vibrant, growing American city with the Statue of Liberty emerging, skyscrapers rising and suburban neighbourhoods taking shape. We then go into even more detail in our elements. We can specify the particular items we want in the flag, such as the capital dome or any kind of national identity or symbolic animation. You can try this out for your own city, your own country, or whatever it is you want to create. Now I'm pretty obsessed with the explosion or reveal type video transitions in VO3 and other models because they're just such a great way to grab people's attention quickly. For example, this one I particularly love because the reveal is showing a completely formed bedroom filled with different products. So here we're going to use the description which is a photorealistic cinematic shot of an empty white walled bedroom with brown hardwood floors and soft daylight streaming in through the windows. A sealed cardboard Amazon box sits in its centre. It slowly wiggles and then bursts open in a bright sparkly puff. The room transforms and assembles itself. We can then add in whatever products we might want to promote. So for example here I might say something like the room is transformed into Harry Potter's sanctuary with Harry Potter bedding, a dragon plushie, magical wand pillows and any other Harry Potter products we're looking to promote. The end result is absolutely awesome. I'm sure you've seen these on socials already, but I still absolutely love the point of view selfie shots featuring a Yeti talking about their experiences of seeing humans in different settings. So in order to create these videos, we're gonna use a very specific prompt. In the description, we're gonna write POV shot of a realistic Yeti holding a GoPro selfie stick as he walks along a winding forest path. The style is comedic and light-hearted, resembling a casual vlog. The camera bobs slightly with each step, capturing the Yeti's large furry hand, gripping the selfie stick, and the dappled sunlight filtering through dense trees. The forest floor is littered with fallen leaves and exposed roots, and after a few steps, the Yeti glances at the camera with a tired but playful expression before stopping and leaning against a tree. We're then going to break down the script and the different scenes, getting the Yeti to talk about what he's seeing. So for example, he might come across a tent and he might talk about the humans being in a tent and wondering where they've gone now. Hello, I am here in the place where the humans were. What are they? Where are they going? Streaming video games is absolutely massive and a great way to go viral. But what if we could actually generate our gaming streams with AI video models? Well, now you can with this specific prompt. We're gonna add into our description a third person video game perspective of a female character exploring the Amalfi Coast. She walks along a sunlit stone path overlooking the sparkling blue sea with colorful cliffside houses and vibrant flowers framing the scene. We can then set the lighting, add in particular elements we want to see in this kind of video game element, and then have the motion be slow and walking forward from a third person perspective. We can also do this for things like a spy type game or an action game where the character is moving a little bit faster. And these results are absolutely incredible.
Now, I hope you enjoyed all of the prompts on today's list. Do let me know any others that you absolutely love or maybe some videos that you can't figure out how to prompt yourself and I'll help you out down below in the comments. Remember, the links to all of today's prompts are down below in the description. And I've popped up a video over here showing some other prompt-based videos that you might wanna check out. Thanks so much for watching, I'm subscribing, and I'll catch you again in the next video.